must-have application for your Mac. Um, this application is called Rip It. Um, it's a DVD ripper for your Mac. Um, just a warning, um, it is illegal to download movies to your computer, but we all know a lot of people do it, and this application is perfect for it. Um, so, it is $25, um, if you'd Google it, um, they're called The Little App Factory, um, they hooked me up with, um, product code for this, so thank you guys for that, um, now let's get started, so, I have a DVD here that I burned from, um, you know, just lost my train, iDVD, um, let me pop that in here. I, or a DVD player would probably pop up here, so I'm just going to make sure I close that. Let's do reading with this. Okay, so there, my DVD is opening up. Okay. Alright, now let's go down here and open it up. And out of all the DVD rippers that I found, this is by far the nicest looking one. By far. Okay, so, you are able to name it however way you want. First, let's check out the preferences. You can change where the movie will be placed. Um, so let's just place this on the desktop, just for now. Um, and you can set it to start ripping right when a disc is inserted. Um, just change a whole bunch of other different options. If you want it to open with DVD player, uh, you can hit this, uh, send ground notifications, open up the folder, play sounds, and then just the compression um, feature. I never use the compression feature just because I want to make sure that when I open the movie it works, you know, so I could care less about space. So if I want to name it here, I'll just hit it my DVD. And you see it's only 0.1 gigabytes big, 10 megs. Um, so, hit rip. As you can see, it has a nice little spinning disc animation, which looks really sweet. Um, it's showing 15% done. So, it'll be done here in less than 30 seconds. But, um, very fast. Um, if you have like an 8 gig DVD, um, it'll probably burn, uh, I'd say maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. So it is fast, and it does work very nice, very fruition. And this would even work if you have it password protected, like if your friend gave you a disc full of pictures or something, and you were unable to open it, this will get around that problem. So it opened up the finder. Uh, box here like we have it set in the preferences. We can go ahead and quit it now. We're done. Um, open it up here. We'll open up IDVD, the DVD player. And there it is, the review of the Mac App Store that I put on the DVD. If I hit the menu, it opens up the menu. So, you know, it was a real simple DVD, but yet it worked perfectly fine on Rip It. So, um, definitely you guys need this um, DVD ripper on your Mac, even if uh, you. Um, yeah, possibly. Can't it again. Um, you definitely need it on your Mac. Um, it is by far the uh, nicest DVD ripper that I've found for the Mac. Uh, platform. Um, it also works the best too. Um, I found a lot that were just real crappy, didn't work that well. Um, but this, I, I never had any problems ripping anything yet. Um, it always worked fine. Um, like I said, it's $25 from the Little App Factory's website. Uh, check out their other applications too. They have a whole bunch of other cool apps on there. Um, it's $25 for a license and it's unlimited. 
but they have a trial feature where you can get 10 rifts for free so you can try it out. So definitely um, go try it out. Uh, use the 10 rips, and then if you love it, just like I do, go ahead and buy it. So that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to uh, check out the website, uh, sign up for giveaways, uh, subscribe to this channel, and just be sure to uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash your Apple Place, uh, to get all the latest news and updates for the website and all the giveaways that we'll be doing every month. So, thanks for watching, that's all I have for you guys, and I will see you later.